talk about Atlantis, I was lost beneath the sea. And the grave of the unknown soldier, or the cry of the old banshee. Who was the man in the iron mask, was Jack the Ripper set free. But as to all was Danny Gall, it's still a mystery. And if I could have built a wall around El Danny Gall, the north and south to keep them out, I got it built at all. Casinos, chicken ranches, I'd legalize them all. We'd have our own Las Vegas in the hills of Donegal. Yeah, Las Vegas in the hills of Donegal. And all they pubs, blackjack and blet. Neil Blaney, Bridget Nielsen, Mike Tyson having a bet. In a show, he could then be known for his multi millionaires. Where Donald Trump would like a chunk to live in solitaire. And if we could have built a wall around El Benigo, the north and south to keep them out, I got it built at all. See those chicken ranches, I'd legalize them all. We'd have our own Las Vegas in the hills of Donegal. Yeah, Las Vegas in the hills of Donegal. A stand on top of a fairy girl, but give me such a thrill. And hear them say in Dublin, there's gold in them. Cause if you dare, the answer lies with me There's a wall that's deep and it's going cheap somewhere in Germany And if I could have built a wall around El Donegal The north and south to keep them out, my God, I'd build it tall Casinos, chicken ranches, I'd legalize them all We'd have our own Las Vegas in the hills of Donegal No, Hugh, this was about the 1976 by-election that took place in our constituency here in Donegal. And it was a very important election because we were fighting it as an independent and we thought that we could bring some new ideas to the area and create male employment in the area. As the area was, any work that was in this area was provided by women in the short factories and everything else. We, there was a great lack of male employment and Nicholas Coffey, who was with Televisarian, came up to do a programme on this by-election. The by-election was a very hard-fought thing and I ran in it as an independent candidate. Independents were virtually not given a chance at that time, but we polled a considerable good vote because of the local support here in Bunkrana. They knew what I was standing for and we polled two and a half thousand votes. But we had to fight against the two, three political parties in the area. It was a very enjoyable time for me because I felt that I was doing something that would be rewarding to the area because it would bring up all the problems that existed. Here up at the Reform Mart, and uh, that would be the Fianna Fáil people, Hugh Conaghan, and John Wilson, who was the Director of Elections for the Fianna Fáil Party, they were all here, and 
Hugh Conaghan was a very nice person and a man that I knew well and had great respect for. The Jack Lynch was also there at that time with Mr. Conaghan. They were the massive power Mr. of the Brown political the parties. And uh, Jack Lynch was a man who was liked by the Irish people. A pity we had not more like him now at the present time because what came after him was not up to the standard. It's Hugh Conaghan, who was the candidate for Fianna Fáil, who lost it at this occasion. The split vote gave it to Neil Blaney's candidate, Patrick Keaveney from Moville. See him for Keaveney's father. And uh, there's Jack Lynch coming through Rafoe and all. They were up to play the wait on for their candidate, Hugh Conaghan. It's Jack Lynch there too. Jack Lynch. He's canvassing there, I think it's Letter Kenny. Letter Kenny and up that area. All the politicians from all the par political parties you see were able to come up to lay their power behind it at a by-election. They were all up in force to get in behind their candidate. Oh, it was a massive undertaking because people told me I had no chance against Fianna Fáil, Fine Gael and all these other groups. The independent Fianna Fáil, it was like fighting three big political parties but I felt I had to give it a go. I had great support from locals here, Theo Crossan and Noel Doherty and Paul Clarity, Vera McElroy, and Annie Deeney Dean. and Sally Gill, yeah. and Joan McConnell, and McKinney. And Sally, Young McKinney. and Lawrence McConnell, Austin McKinney. Deary, God of Mercy, and, Austin Deary, and Jim Bradley, God of Mercy, Jim Bradley. And Lawrence McKinney Kenny and Martin Davis, Martin Davis, and Padini. Padini, and all these people supported me, and I was very proud because they really tried to give me a shout. As Mr. Grimes of the Four Lanterns and McCullough, uh, Mr. McCullough, McCullough and Noel Doherty, Doherty, and Mrs. McGlinchey, Mrs. McGlinchey of the and Main McGlinchey's Street, wife. and all those people voted and strong. Young Michael. Uh, Young Michael, Michael Doherty, Michael Rose Doherty, the doctor's son, son. Danny Wadge, uh, Danny Bradley, Danny Wadge, Bradley Wadge was there who was a very strong supporter. And that's Sidney Doherty, Ned, and, Mrs. Doherty, Lath, Ned. and Liam Cutliffe, and some of the Ruddens. Yeah. And Mrs. Davis, and Deirdre Dini. Yeah. And Vincent Deacon. Yes. And. Uh, um. Mrs. Davis and Stanley Pratt, yeah, and Mrs. McGarn, yeah. Well, it's, it's amazing sure. when you see them all now. A lot of them would people would be interested in to see their mothers that were all. That's no. <laughs> and that's I know that Mrs. McGlin. Mrs. McGlinchey of. Uh, yeah, Theo Crossan. Yeah, Theo Crossan when well, Lawrence McKinney and Corrigan. Lawrence is dead now too. Yeah, Lawrence McKinney has passed on and he was a very good fella. I was coming up the main street at this clip and I was telling them about what it used to be during the Scotch fairs that this town was crowded with Scotch people, tourists coming on holidays and all that had disappeared since the boats had went off and the town was virtually just dead except for two months of the summer and we were hoping that we would get all these things back and that and we could do something about it. The troubles had, the started. Troubles had just started 69. in Northern Ireland and no visitors came either. No visitors came either, but we were trying to do our best to save our community. Yeah. Yeah. Michael McDade. Yeah. Michael McDade and I think one of Stephen Deary. Yeah. Oh yeah. That'd be a that would be a cousin of Michael McDade. That's, that's, it. It. that's uh, Fitzpatrick, John, Sean Fitzpatrick, the Vinnie Gale man. Oh, right. From Cavan. And that's Sally Sally Blake. Oh, that's Sally Blake, Blake there yeah. and Letter Kenny. Okay. Yeah. That's Nicky Coffee there yeah. too. Okay. Nice talking to you both. You may talk about Atlantis, I was lost beneath the sea. And the grave of the unknown soldier, or the cry of the Albanshee. 
Who was the man in the iron mask was Jack the Ripper set free But as to all was Denny Gall, it's still a mystery And if I could have pulled the wall around El Denny Gall The north and south to keep them out, I gotta build it tall You see those chicken ranches, I'd legalize them all We'd have our own Las Vegas in the hills of Denny Gall Las Vegas in the hills of Donegal Play my clubs and all my pubs, blackjack and roulette They'll play me Bridget Nielsen, Mike Tyson having a bet In a show he could then be known for his multi-millionaires Where Donald Trump would like a chunk to live in solitaire And if I could have built a wall around El Benigal The north and south to keep them out, I gotta build it tall You see those chicken ranches, I'd legalize them all We'd have our own Las Vegas in the hills of Donegal Yeah, Las Vegas in the hills of Donegal Stand on top of a fairy girl, but give me such a thrill And hear them say in Dublin, there's gold in them, there hills So don't despair, cause if you dare, the answer lies with me There's a wall that's deep and there's gold and sheep somewhere in Germany And if I could have built a wall around El Donegal The north and south to keep them out, my God, it build it tall You see those chicken ranches, I'd legalize them all We'd have our own Las Vegas in the hills of Donegal Yeah, Las Vegas in the hills of Donegal